Hello, my name is Nabil. Allow me to introduce my fellow group members, Akmal, Chihui, Raymond, and Will Rogers. We will be discussing about a program to overcome cyberbullying. So, before we begin, I would like to give a short briefing on what is cyberbullying. Imagine that you posted a photo of your happy moment on your social media account and hoping that everyone is happy for you. However, things became bad when people commented about your physical appearances instead of being happy for you. You were sad with those comments, making you feel insecure and low in confidence. Things became worse when people constantly mocking your appearances since then, you feel depressed, and with that, you are now afraid to post anything on social media again. You might not want to go outside as well. You stay home and tend to overthink many things, which makes you tired and stressful. At one point, you have the feeling of giving up and end things in an unfortunate way. That is what cyberbullying is. Not the physical type of bully, but the mental type of bully, which is what we want to overcome. Moving on to short-term activities, there are two activities that can be conducted. One of it is raising awareness of law enforcement towards cyberbully. The next one is implementing a hotline service for counselling and reporting any other cyberbully activities, such as harassment. For the midterm solution, the government should create and promote more attractive advertisement with topics about cyberbullying. This would encourage people to be more respectful to others on any social media platform. All the AIDS and awareness campaign will stay updated with all the latest websites and trends on the internet to teach the consumers, especially the younger generation, about the internet and how to use it safely and responsibly. Everyone is entitled to express their own opinion without involving any emotional register. Talking and chatting with each other in the social media platform will help people in building trust and they will be more comfortable in sharing their stories or troubles with other people for help and advice without being blamed or overreact. This will make the internet a wonderful place to learn and gain new knowledge since everyone is able to ask questions and getting helps without being harassed by the immature cyberbullies. For the long-term solution, education is the key to solve the cyberbully issues. It is the most effective way, but it takes a very long time. Both formal education and non-formal education play a very important role to solve cyberbully issues. First, let's talk about formal education. Formal education is the education that provided by school or institution. New chapter can be added to existing subjects such as Pendidikan Moral and Pendidikan Civic. And since internet has become a norm, formal education can also include a new subject regarding computer and internet and the internet morality is one of the chapters in it. For non-formal education, parents play a very important role to supervise their children in internet usage. Parents should teach their children about internet since young instead of letting them learn the internet by themselves. With the help of both formal and non-formal education, the next generation will have a firm foundation on internet morality and hence effectively solve the cyberbully issues. In conclusion, cyberbullying is bound to happen, especially in this age where internet is an important aspect of our life. Both short-term and long-term solutions to cyberbullying should be implemented to make the internet a safer place for everyone in the future. Solving issues regarding cyberbullying is much more effective than helping the affected victim.